file history. So back in the day, you would have something like Plan 9 Fossil, and it would essentially snapshot the file every time you, you changed it. So you could just like mount a directory and then you can access the history of the file pretty easily. Nice, right? Fast forward to 2021 and you have to fight with this thing called Git. It's a daily struggle. And this is how <laughs> I do my file history. So every time I change the file, I git add, git commit. Do that pretty much manually. And then to view that file, I use TIG. Now, normally TIG just shows you the different like patch sets between, uh, between the revisions. It doesn't actually sort of show you the file. So th the way that I do it is I have this special bind in my TIGRC, it's a capital V, and that allows me to sort of view the file with um, a rather bad pager. So I press capital V here, and I can see that it started off with the Golang Alpine in this Docker file. And um, if I went to the top here and I do a capital V, the pager should show me that it's now based on that thing. So that's how I find the file history. TIG, name of file, and that special uh, bind. If you know a better bind, do let me know. There is an alternative way to do this using Vim Fugitive. Uh, let me just quickly show you that. It's a bit of a strange command. It's like 0g clog. And then you get uh, like a quick fix list of the file history. And you can obviously just go back in time to the very first one. And you can see that, yeah, it was based on Golang Alpine. So that's how I do file history with Git. If you know better, do comment below. Otherwise, yeah, do like the video, subscribe for more. Love you guys. <laughs> oh man, videos aren't they great? See you next time. Bye.